and in that program, all you're going to do is just call up other existing programs. So obviously you have to know what your programs are named, in what order you want to use them. Okay, so I'm going to have, uh, can we back to teach please? So I'm going to go to select, create a new program. I'm going to use your initials. So that's uh, S and K. Yep. And just call it S and K call. Okay? You don't have to change anything else. You could go and edit the comment to define what it's doing in there. I'm going to let you do that later if you want to. Press enter. Here's our SMK call program. Now you're going to go into a new section you've not explored before. And if you look at the uh, plethora of, of the options available, you might be a little overwhelmed. You go next. You see the instructions. You can press F1 for instructions. <coughs> and now you see all the possible instructions you can insert into your program. And underneath each one of these initial options are another five to ten different options. So that's why we have a robotics two class, yeah, where you learn about some of these. There's one that's pretty straightforward, which is the call function. Simply cursor down to call, press enter and then you want to call a program. So you press enter again. Now you can see the cursor is in the dot 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 and it popped up this program list. It will display all the programs that you can choose from to call up. So you're going to look for Sean, which are the SMK. So you can press 8 on the keypad to go to the next page. And I keep doing that until I get to the SMK, so the 7, 8, and 9. So what's your first number? 7. Okay. So 7, select it, press enter. That's the only line. It's that simple. Press it on to end. Do the same thing. Instructions. Call, call program again, find the program you want to call up next, 8 is next, do it one more time, call, enter, call program, enter, 8 to page through these available programs, find the SMK9, press enter. So now, assuming that you've tested <coughs> each one of your programs independently, optimized the speeds on it so they run well independently on the linear speed, on the joint speed, combination types, I want you to go ahead and take the paper out. So the goal of this car program is to uh, be able to run and recreate this set of three numbers on a blank piece of paper. What you will find is that uh, because each program was developed independently, you know, the marker might have been pushed in a little bit more, um, you may not have the paper lined up exactly, uh, but you know, we're not going to worry about that too much. If they're way off, or one jams in, the other barely touches, you may have to go through and touch up points in one of the two programs, either to raise it up or to lower the other one down. I'm going to turn my teach credit off and change it to auto again, please. But what I want you to watch is I'm in the SMK car program. When I start this, it's going to call up this program. It's going to switch on the screen to show this new program, the SMK7, it's going to run through it. When it's done, it's going to jump back, 
come to this main program, look at the next line, call up the next number program, execute that, complete it, come back to the main program and execute this. So go ahead and press the start. One request failed. Already locked by another pass. What did I, what did I not do? You see, I'm yeah. still trying to go 100% to 7 years did. So to fix this temporarily, I'm just going to slow down to 10%. Uh, reset. And it's going to pick right up where it left off. See, it's changed to this program, but in the background, it's still executing the main program. Okay, so we have to press start again. Once it goes to the next line, I'm going to speed it up here. Nope, wasn't fast enough. Reset, press start again. You're going to see it now going back to home. And then it's going to switch briefly to the main program and call up the next one, SMK8. I'm going to speed this guy up. You see the termination type needs to be tweaked a little bit. Same thing here. Okay. Well, it looks pretty close. Okay, so do that and uh, see uh, you know, if you can run all three programs at maximum speed. Can yes. you use the replace function to replace all the key values so they're all the same? No. Can you run but, that one more uh, time for the video? I was looking at the screen, not the robot. Oh, run one more time? Yeah. Uh, Sean, can you run it again for the videographer piece? Yep. This way the guys that missed today can see it. So we are running the program again with the car program. So if you're too fast, it's going to fall out. I'm going to slow it down, reset the error, and Sean's going to restart it with cycle start. And then it's going to call up the next program, go to its home position. We're going to run 100% now. Second program now? That's the third, yeah. Third program? Now it's the third one. Okay, when it's and done, home. it stops. Very good.